Hello friends, again most welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about the gas chromatography which is a most important question and mostly asked in your MPharm examination for the 10 marks. So let's start with the uh, introduction what is chromatography. Basically chromatography it is a technique for the separation of mixture of compound into its individual compound by using the two phases that is mobile phase and stationary phase. Basically what we are doing in the chromatography we are doing the separation of compound. Uh, consider this is a uh, mixture of a compound A and B so we are doing the separation into individual compound means compound A and compound B so this is a basic concept of the chromatography let's see the definition of gas chromatography uh, gas chromatography it is an analytical technique that helps to separate and analyze a mixture of volatile or organic vaporizable compound without their decomposition so what we are doing in the gas chromatography we are doing the separation of compound with which are volatile in the nature. Uh, it is then carried out at a suitable temperature. This process is carried out at a suitable temperature in a glass or metal tube which are known as columns uh, which contain liquid or solid as a stationary phase. It means in column uh, it may be either a liquid or either solid can be used as a stationary phase. So let's see the types of gas chromatography. Basically there are two types of gas chromatography. First is a gas liquid chromatography and second is a gas solid chromatography. In gas liquid chromatography, mobile phase it is a gas and stationary phase it is a liquid. So the separation is based on the partition coefficient. As the stationary phase is liquid, so the principle will be partition coefficient. In gas solid chromatography, the mobile phase it is a gas and stationary phase it is a solid. So the separation is based on the adsorptivity. Let's see the principle of gas chromatography when a gas or vapor come in contact with the adsorbent in a gas solid chromatography then some amount of gas it is get an adsorbed on the solid surface and if the vapor or gas come in contact with the liquid in a gas liquid chromatography so a fixed amount of gas it, it can dissolve in the liquid so the, our principle become as in gas liquid chromatography the principle of separation it is an partition and in gas solid uh, chromatography the principle of separation it is an adsorption so uh, one note is there the compounds to be separated will be converted to the vapor and mixed with a mobile phase means uh, if you are using a solid compound to analyze in gas chromatography so you want to uh, convert it into a vapor then you can analyze your compound in a gas chromatography let's see the instrumentation of gas chromatography basically all uh, gas chromatography contain the uh, six component first is a gas carrier that is a mobile phase a sample injected injection system will be there a separating column will be there detectors are there thermostat chamber will be there for the co column and amplifier and recording system will be there so as you can see in the uh, diagram of the gas chromatography here is a gas tank basically we are using these gases helium nitrogen hydrogen uh, argon or carbon dioxide we can use these uh, gases uh, for the uh, analysis in the gas chromatography uh, this, this is a uh, wall for the releasing of these gases and here is a flow controller and uh, here is a sample inject uh, by which we are going to inject our sample which is uh, uh, going to be analyzed in the gas chromatography by using these gases and th this is a uh, coil uh, which is an enclosed in an oven at a, at a temperature of 400 degrees celsius so this uh, column it is going to be attached to the detectors then detectors uh, it is attached to the recorder and our result will be get recorded into the recorder so this is a basic uh, instrumentation of the gas chromatography you have to draw this diagram in your exam for the better marks uh, let's see the uh, instrumentation in detail first is a gas tank the gas tank which is uh, basically made up of stainless steel in gas tank gas will be there basically and generally helium gas it is an uh, used and sometimes we can also use the nitrogen hydrogen argon or carbon dioxide or air gas also can be used at the top of gas uh, tank wall is there and uh, next is a uh, flow controller the flow controller will control the flow of gas basically why we are using uh, flow controller to control the flow of the gas this is a basic concept and the pressure of gas should be 
be in between 40 to 80 psi then gas will go to the sample injector from flow controller it will go to the sample injector then let's see the sample injector what is sample injector in sample inlet we will inject our sample which is going to be analyzed in our gas chromatography so there are three types of samples which are possible in a gas chromatography which can be analyzed first sample is in liquid second is in gas and third is in solid sample which is dissolved in any liquid form so the solid and liquid samples are we want to convert into a gas by heating at a sample inlet so we can analyze this solid or liquid samples in the gas chromatography the position of the sample inlet is enclosed in the oven as you have seen in the diagram so let's see about the columns the gas sample will be eluted through the columns and the length uh, length of this column is 1 to 300 meters and the, there are three types of columns are available in the gas chromatography first is a straight column second is a u-shaped column and third is a coil shaped column so after that after that our gas will be go to the detectors from column uh, our gas will go to detector and detector will detect the sample and give the signals in the recorder and recorder will give the peaks of our sample let's see the detectors detectors there are three types of detectors used in the gas chromatography first is an tcd thermal conductivity detector also known as hot wire detector fid flame ionization detector and electron capture detector these are the basic uh, three detectors which are used in gas chromatography it can be asked in you in uh, two marks question uh, right uh, in, in, in list the detectors which are used in the gas chromatography or the full form can be asked like, like what is tcd uh, or, or what is fid so uh, you have to remember this uh, short forms also let's see in detail about the tcd how the thermal conductivity detector look like uh, here is a reference gas will be there and sample gas will be there and here is a power supply this is an uh, instrumentation of tcd it is a detector here amplifier will be there and output will be there so this thermal conductivity detector is also known as a hot wire detector or bellometer we can also say it. the tcd it is a made up of tungsten alloy wire and it is a universal detector this tcd it is a universal detector and the sensitivity of this detector is 10 raised to minus 9 gram so let's see the another detector that is a flame ionization detector which is also used in the gas chromatography it is an instrumentation of the this uh, detector is there uh, from uh, our column this inlet will be here attached here is an hydrogen gas inlet and here is an oxide inlet it is an hydrogen flame and here we are going to supply the power supply that is an electrical current here is an collector plate will be there and platinum jet will be there so from this a uh, gas will be goes to in this this tube and that so for, from this our gas will finally goes to the after detecting this gas will go to the amplifier and recorder so this is a basic instrumentation of uh, flame ionization detector that is an FID so FID it is a highly sensitive detector for the organic compounds and the sensitivity of this detector is 10 raised to minus 11 G let's see the advantages of the gas chromatography basically the gaseous and volatile compounds can be easily separated and analyzed in the gas chromatography both qualitative and quantitative analysis can be done it is an it required less amount of sample sorry and the compounds that are difficult to analyze by other techniques can be easily analyzed by using the gas chromatography so these are the basic advantages of our uh, gas chromatography let's see the disadvantages of gas chromatography sample should be volatile uh, so by you uh, while you are using uh, the gas chromatography so you must want to confirm that you are uh, your sample which is going to be analyzed it should be in the volatile compound so this is an one disadvantage of gas chromatography and packing of column it is a very difficult in the gas chromatography let's see the applications of the gas chromatography in quality control and analysis of drug product like antibiotic and antiviral uh, we can use the gas chromatography assay of drug for the purity determination in determining the level of drug and metabolites in the body fluids like plasma serum and urine etc to identify and determine the fatty acid isolation and identification 
purification of plant extract like volatile oil, amino acid, lipid and protein and gas chromatography is widely uh, used for various applications in the pharmaceutical industry. Hope so you got the idea about the gas chromatography. Thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you.